This here is a thimbleberry, and you can see why it gets that name. <laughs> it actually is like like a type of raspberry, very closely related to normal raspberries, but the uh, they're very delicate. But the uh, opening on the bottom where it connects is very very large, so large that it does resemble a thimble. And these are something that grow in um, throughout the U.S., but I think mostly like in the northern northern areas. So right now I'm in Vermont, so that makes sense. And what's interesting about these is the uh, plant that it grows on, usually with other types of brambles like blackberries and uh, raspberries and so on, wine berries. They have little prickles on them on the stems, and these do not. The, uh, there's no prickles on the stem, so that's a way to tell that you that you found these. And uh, also a fun fact about it is that the leaves are smooth and people use them as a natural toilet paper <laughs> when you're out in the woods. You can use that. And the leaves of the thimbleberry plant, if you brew it into a tea, actually is a cure for diarrhea, or so people say. So this is like the perfect toilet plant. It is toilet paper, it cures your diarrhea, so if you got like food poisoning in the woods, thimbleberries are something to look out for. And better than that, these are supposed to be delicious. Now, I haven't had one yet, so let's give it a try. Oh my. That's really good. They're sour, but in a really good way. It's like it's kind of like raspberry, but not super sweet. It's more sour than sweet. It's got like a nice, a little bit of a sweetness to it, but mostly getting tartness. I say it actually tastes not just like raspberry, but a little bit like strawberry too. It reminds me of like the flavor you get from a like a strawberry or raspberry like sorbet, where it's almost like a little bit more concentrated and just like a little bit more tart. That's super tasty. I, I'm happy that I was able to find this. This is, um, I think, a lot, actually a lot better than just plain old raspberries. This is a nice, unique flavor to it. And that extra little bit of flavor in there, that little bit of like tartness, I think would make this uh, a really good thing to cook with. Like if you were to make like compote out of this, or um, make a jam out of it, if you were to add sugar into it or use it for desserts, that extra like pop that this has, that little extra sourness, that little extra uh, berry flavor, it's like a little stronger. So it would go really well in a jam where you're gonna be adding sugar to it. You're not gonna lose uh, a ton of flavor like you might with uh, plain old raspberries. So, uh, yeah, that's great. If you have the means to try a thimbleberry, uh, keep your eyes open for these because there's a lot of uses for them, but mainly they're very, very tasty. All right, that's about it. See ya. All right, I'm in Alley Pond Park, which is a very large uh, park in Queens, New York City. And look what we have over here. I just saw these, like, walking down this path, these little red berries in the distance. I thought they were like raspberries or something, but if you take a look, you know what that is? These are actually, there you go, these are actually mock strawberries, or also known as Indian strawberries, which I've had before, but I've never seen them this big. Look at that. And these, a lot of people think these are poisonous, but they're not. And you can take a look. Well, this one apparently has a hole in it because of a bug, but if you take a look at it anyway, uh, you see it's a little bit more bumpy on the outside. It looks a l very similar to regular strawberries, but the way they're uh, set up is they actually like point straight upwards like that. Well, wild strawberries look a little bit different. The problem with these fruits is that they don't have a whole lot of flavor to them. Take a look on the inside. 
I'm mostly just getting crunchy little seeds in this kind of like bland center. It tastes a little bit like a very, very diluted berry. Not really strawberry though, more like raspberry. I mean, if you're like starving in the forest or something, they are edible. You can eat them. You can maybe get like a little bit of nutrition out, the, out of them or something. But not much to it. They do have a nice little bit of a crispiness to it that, you know, regular strawberries do not have so much. But otherwise, nothing really to write home about. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But guys, I will see you next time. Take care.